Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The setting is a little different from what I'm usually doing. Usually I'm at my bookshelf, now I'm in my kitchen. But I'm still doing something bookish that I am incredibly excited for. As you all know, if you've been here for a while, I am a ridiculously huge fan of Sarah J Maas, the Throne of Glass series and the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I love them, they are incredible. The Kale novella, which is no longer a novella, now it's a full-fledged novel, and it's called Tower of Dawn, is coming out in September. For a while now, I've been wanting to make some bookish candles, and I've been thinking about starting an Etsy shop with these bookish candles, and I thought, what better way to start than to make a Tower of Dawn Throne of Glass themed pre-order box. So today I am going to be making candles based on characters and places and things from the Throne of Glass series. Just as a side note, very sorry if you can hear that, it's my washing machine. I timed this really badly, but let's uh, jump straight in and get to it. So the first candle that I want to make is a Manon candle. I freaking love Manon. When I first read Air of Fire, I hated her. I hated Manon so much and now she's one of my favorite characters. I also hated Rowan in the beginning of Air of Fire but by the end I loved him. It was the same thing with both those characters. They are incredible characters. I've got my little tin and my little warning label on the bottom because I don't want anybody to like sue me if they burn themselves. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get out your wick and you're gonna get one of these thingamabobs. It's basically like a popsicle stick that's just got like a hole through it. And then a sticky thingy majiggy. You're gonna take your sticky thingy majiggy and you're gonna stick it onto the bottom of your wick. Because this is what's gonna keep it from floating around in your hot wax because you can't exactly reposition it very well. Then you're gonna put that through and that's gonna just keep it central when you pour your wax in so that you can keep it in the middle and you don't have a squiff candle. I kind of jumped the gun a bit. I should probably go through everything that you need when you're making candles and stuff. So you need the wick and your tin or your jar or whatever you're using and your weird popsicle stick. You can also just like wrap around pencil or something. You're gonna need dyes. If you want a colored candle, you're gonna need dyes. You need your little sticky thingies that stick your wick down, a thermometer, your scents, and of course, some wax. You're also gonna need a pot with a little bit of water and something like this or a measuring jug or something like that. Just be careful that you don't burn yourself. Okay, I've moved over to the stove because we're gonna start melting some wax now. This video may get a little bit spoilery for the end of Empire of Storms. If spoilers do come up, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make the book cover come up here and then you know to mute it until the cover is gone and then you can unmute and you can watch without the threat of spoilers. I've been wondering, where does everybody think Aelin is? Where do you think Marv took her? I have an idea. I have a theory. And this is based on a pin that Sarah J Maas pinned to her Pinterest board. I think that she's in Andovia. A lot of people think she may be in Mistwood and then the Mistwood characters are going to come back in and they're going to help her and she's going to like ally with them again, which would be really, really great. But I don't think that Marv would give her the opportunity to get to where people could possibly help her. There are so many things that I want to happen in Tower of Dawn and also in the last Throne of Glass book. But one of the things that I want to happen more than anything is I want to see Aelin burn Endovia to the ground. I'm not sure what dye I'm going to use for the Manon candle. I kind of think it should be either red or black. But then I think maybe gold because of her eyes, but that's not, like, I think it's, it's gonna be red or black. And I might put, like, a little bit of glitter on the top. So the basic idea for the pre-order box, I'm still kind of working on the logistics of it all, but it'll probably be one big candle plus four little ones, all about, like, the Throne of Glass universe. And there'll probably be like an art print or a bookmark or something in it as well. The worst spoiler I've ever had was for a Sarah J Maas book and I accidentally spoiled myself. I was paging through A Court of Thorns and Roses and I was just sniffing it, you know, as you do. And I stopped on a page and I looked down and, spoiler alert, it said, I love you. I stabbed him. I'm just like, oh, well now I know how this is gonna go. I liked Tamron back then, but I wasn't in love with him, I was more interested in uh, Reese than I was in him. And I liked Lucian a lot more than I liked Tamlin. Red dye with black glitter, 
That's how we're going to do this manon candle. So I've shaven off a little bit of the red dye. It's already on my fingers and you can see that it's going to be a nice color. Oh, that's looking lovely and bloody. Manon would approve. I've also put a lot of thought into what kind of scent I want to do for Manon's candles. Seriously, that looks just like blood. As someone who really likes candles, I can tell you right now that the smell of blood and iron in candle form wouldn't go well. I would really appreciate it if some of you could tell me your theories about uh, the last Throne of Glass book and about the Kale book because I'm stumped. Okay, our wax is now 55 degrees Celsius, which is perfect for pouring in our uh, scent. I measured out some of it off camera, gone with a bit of vanilla, uh, cinnamon, and darkness. I'm not entirely sure what darkness is supposed to smell like, but it smells pretty good. Oh, that smells really good. That smells delicious. I'm gonna eat it. That was a good combination. I'm actually so relieved. I was worried that it would smell like crap. Okay, so we're ready to start pouring. I have my candle thingamalary here. I'm about to go and get my wax. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side so that it's out of the way. And then once we've got the wax poured, we'll push it back into place again. Just give it a bit of a stir before you start. Get the glitter all in there. And. We're going to let the Manon candle set for a little while, and to go with our witchling, I'm thinking I'm going to make a princely. Ah! <sighs> okay, I made a mess. Okay, so my favourite ships for the Throne of Glass series, obviously, I used to really ship, and I know a lot of you are going to roll your eyes at me, I was a Solorian shipper when Selena was still Selena. But now she's alien. She needs Rowan, and I ship that completely. Maybe I should call the Dorian candle Dorian, or Princeling, or Invisible Hands. Put it to a vote in the description below. What do you want the Dorian candle to be called? Some of my other ships. Yes, I am 100% aboard the Lysandra ADN ship. I, oh my gosh, I want to see that happen. I want little Ash River eyed babies who keep turning into ghost leopards. Definitely Dorian and Manon. I want to see a Braxos meeting Fleetfoot. I think that that would be adorable. I think they become great friends. And I want to see Fleetfoot ride a freaking wave. Elied and Lokan, I freaking love. Elide and Loka, and he's like this whole I am from Helly's, I am death itself, I am. And then the second she needs anything, he's like, Can I help you? Can I help you? Do you need my shirt off my back so that you can use it for your period? <laughs> he's fantastic, I love him. I have a little bit of a theory about the Throne of Glass series. Each of them are kind of referred to as being followed or taken care of by one of the gods, and we know that the gods want to be sent home. What if our lovely cast of characters? are basically gonna become like the new gods. We have this really nice blue color. So if Manon's looked like blood, his looks kind of like ink. The wax is officially cool enough for us to start adding our scent without the possibility of it burning the scent off. Oh, that smells really good. This looks amazing. I might go for like a swirl effect in the actual thing. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But wow, I love how that looks. Just move that there so that you can see. There's our wax. That is fantastic. I love how glittery and beautiful that looks. So the only thing left to do for these candles is to let them set. If you guys would like to see me making any more candles, please do let me know in the comments below. I will also put links and details to what I'm doing with the shop and everything and the pre-order stuff below. Um, and also let me know what you want me to name these candles. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.